Again, here's another doily. Stitching on that one there. And I put another one of the chipboards from the Country Christmas collection. And there's more stitching. And if I wanted, I could come in and put some buttons, but I thought this was just enough. There's more threads. I love threads. There's that one. Uh, put a, I didn't like the little map. Just didn't wasn't to my tasting. So I put this little fabric here. Um, and I thought that was perfect there. Put some wax paper. Here I took one of the um, ephemeras from the Country Christmas collection and I stapled it and I grabbed one of these postal cards from the collection and just kind of snugged it up there. Didn't do anything there other than distressing it with the Tim Holtz vintage photos. Put a little flower from the, the Country Christmas collection from Prima. Nothing there, nothing there. I think that's about it that I did. This one, as you guys saw in the video, I kind of fussy cut around the flowers, trimmed it up to size. Again, this is um, the album itself, the pages are 3 and 7 8 by 5 and 7 8. And I just kind of folded the pages in half. Um, here I put one of the chipboards from the collection, distressed it. And over here I put a little stitch. And here you can put a little something snugged in there. And there's the back page. So that was it that I did for this album. Again, I'm not planning to cut any of these little threads other than that it fell off. Because I kind of like the frayed look. That's just the, the style that I like when I'm creating these kind of things. I like the grungy um, looks that it gives. So to me, that's just something that I personally like. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Sorry that the video was kind of long and I didn't really. Um, it was more of a chat night trying to de-stress after a long, stressful evening. Um, so I didn't really go into a lot of details as far as giving instructions. Um, I'll try to do another video tutorial doing something similar to this since I do have more of this collection available and more of this bohemian trim. What I did do for the spine is, as you can see, I um, I did not do any type of stitching. What I did is I used a book binding tape and also Fabri-Tac to adhere it all down. And I took some um, binder clips and I made sure I left it on there for a while so that it could adhere really well. It does kind of get hard. Um, so you want to make sure you do that. Now, if you're planning to put a charm, what I ended up do, having to do is I ended up having, I used some fabric tack and a little bit of, um, I bent my wires down so they would stay down a little bit flat. I couldn't sew it in um, because this had gotten really hard and stiff. So I wasn't able to put my needle through. What I suggest if you guys want to do this technique, and I'll probably do it on my next album, is that I will sew this in before anything, before I um, glue down the cover to the spine because it gets so stiff you can't get a needle through. So the ideally what you want to do is be able to um, take like a nice thin metal thread and maybe wrap it in and then sew in the edges. But again, like I said, it was a late notice. I had already had that charm done and I did not, um, see it's really hard. You hear that? And I'm hitting it's like really, really hard. I'm hitting the, the spine. Oh. It got really, really hard. So you, you want that to be like that so your pages doesn't come undone. So I kind of like that. And I, I am liking, aside from the fact that I don't like the strings and then I don't like the gummy, gooey mess from Fabri-Tac, I do like the fact that 
um, it did do its job and also the book binding tape did a, a wonderful job as well. So that is something that I'll probably, I will probably end up using a lot more in the future. So um, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Sorry that I wasn't able to give you a full tutorial, but at least I gave you a flip through of what it looks like. And I'm hoping to be able to do another one so that you guys can um, get uh, a full idea of how I did it. So anyway, guys, till next time. Bye-bye.